Uh, so hello, my name is Olanta. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Kyiv, Ukraine. I study at the Shevchenko National University of Kyiv as an institute of journalism and I'm currently uh, at Lviv region. Atlanta, it's so good to see you again. Um, we met three months ago, end of November. We worked together. You were a participant of my podcast workshop. And since then, we tried to stay in touch a bit. Um, and yeah, thank you for taking the time today. Where It was a really great time back to that. Where are you now exactly? I am at the region, like on uh, on the west near the Zakarpati region. So I'm on near the mountains. So I feel a bit safe here to be. It's like a small town where all people know each other. Okay, and have you been there before, or why have you chosen um, this area in Ukraine? I uh, have been uh, there before, like three or four years ago, uh, that house of my parents' friends, and they uh, hosted us for for near 10 days already. Okay, so now it's like two weeks since the war started, and you know, it's For me, for example, I just moved to another country. So to explain what happened in the last two weeks is quite difficult. But for you, of course, having experienced war, I can't imagine like what you went through. Could you maybe tell me a bit more about how, yeah, how you exper experienced the last two weeks and yeah, how, how you feel? The first three days was the most scariest. Uh, I can even say in my life, because when you woke up at 5 a.m. in the heart of Ukraine in Kyiv and your parents say to you that the war has started, uh, Russia started invade, to invade Ukraine, it's really scary. You don't know what to do uh, and w how to, uh, to be in safe. It's like the most important things for you in, in the first uh, place. Then you think about how to volunteer, how to uh, help other people, how to save your, uh, your home. But in the first uh, couple of hours, uh, when I woke up, it was about how to be in safe place, how, uh, how to save my life. I haven't heard uh, um, the explosions but um, most of my friends heard and they were at shelters the first uh, couple of hours and I was really scared for their lives at first and we started to, to think how to get from Kyiv in another place where we'll be safer uh, and Uh, we take our time to get ready for like hour or two. And because I live near the bridge, one of the bridges of Kiev, I can see how many cars was there. That was a case. Uh, people started to uh, to go on the on the west of Ukraine uh, to be in safe. Um, so we uh, went uh, to Khmelnytsky region at first to our grandparents for the first day, but it was also not so safe there because uh, there is uh, at, um, I don't know that nuclear station near that and military. Uh, so we decided to go on the on the west of Ukraine, like on west west. Uh, but we decided not to go in view where I lived, uh, because I think and my parents think that uh, there are people that um, need that our flat or that place much more than we are. Uh, 
so now I'm in safe and trying to do all I can from uh, from here to help on internet people to communicate with each other and help to um, help to another people. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? Like, how do you try to help them exactly? Is it about giving them support? Or is it about organizing homes for them? Uh, That's a lot of work, exactly. Uh, First of all, it's help to support each other with some some words. Uh, We uh, help each other to find where to live, uh, what to eat, what to wear. Um, We help each other with information. Uh, we need to uh, to give information for all the people to know what exactly is happening. It's like the most important thing for us now, uh, because if people would not know what's going on here, uh, that doesn't make much sense for us. We are as united as we've never been and we want to help each other and we want to help uh, people to know what's going on here and how Russia invaded us and how Russia started war uh, with us and how they take us in fear for a long time. And it's really hard, complicated, but we try our best and we try to stay calm and help each other. What you just said, I find this very interesting that you're united more than ever. So what would you say is where does this come from now? Like this feeling of being united? Does it come from having the same enemy? Does it come from just like feeling, no, we we want to protect our country? Where does it come from? Uh, we always had one enemy and it's not really matter now. Uh, we just want to be in safe. So we help each other. We're like a big family now. Uh, we need to be united to help each other at first. Uh, I, uh, I noticed that many people started to speak Ukrainian. That's not that popular exactly on the east of Ukraine. Uh, and I saw uh, at one blogger, he's, he's from Mar- Mariupol. It's like the most, one of the most complicated situations in the city in Ukraine now. Uh, he said that people went uh, on the streets and started speaking Ukraine and started uh, to speak to Russians to tell them that we don't need to save us. Uh, so it's like... Mm, I'm feeling we can support each other and take care of each other. And that's the most important thing. Uh, when you're just agreeing with each other, it's not work for you. We do not talk about political uh, situation now. Uh, we're not... Uh, mm, we try not to focus on something bad. We try just to to see something good. You are a student. Um, how is this um, going on? Uh, are you still having classes? Is everything cancelled? What is the situation at the Dorost Shevchenko University? I don't know how about on the west of Ukraine, but in Kiev we now have holidays. I can just name that like that. But uh, to April we're not having our classes uh, at the Rostovchenko University. Mm-hmm. When you wake up, what is the first thing you do? Is it Mm, is it that you try to see what your friends are texting you? Are you reading the news? Um, is your everyday life now different from two weeks ago? The first thing uh, I think about is like what's going on. I just didn't understand. I was ready. Uh, I have my clothes and my goods ready for a couple of days ago. Uh, I just 
took it and and was ready to leave. Uh, and of course, the first thing you think what's going on, uh, you start to fear of something and then you think about your parents, you think about your family, you think about your uh, friends who started to call each other to wake up, um, to know we are all in safe. Uh, and what about our life? I think it's mm, more on internet now because like 12 or 13 hours in day I spend on my phone or my computer to to look what's going on in my country because I'm far away from there and I always need to know what's going on uh, for the most important news. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a lot of people uh, now here with me. And I think it's um, my job to take care of them and give them moral support. And Who is there with you? Your family and also... My family friends. and uh, some other families, three families here. There are eight people here. And we start, and we're trying to support each other, and trying to support kids at first, uh, to they not feeling so difficult in that situation. Mm. What would you say the kids in your environment? How do they like? How do they react to the war? Um, have you noticed something? How they talk about it? Yeah, of course, I spoke about it because it's like the main thing now. But they are more calm because we try not to give them so many troubles in their head. Uh, we try to give them a calm life to, to live. They watching some uh, cartoons, they going out. Uh, they know what's going on. They always with us to, uh, and they interested how uh, how long that would be when they uh, can come back home. Uh, but it's they not that deep in that. And I'm happy that that we did it like that. How far is the place uh, from Kiev where you're staying at at the moment? It's like. 600 kilometers from Kiev um, so it's really far away from that I heard some great thing today that uh, Kharkiv is like 60 kilometers far away from border of Russia and uh, a thousand uh, kilometers far from Lviv but all people from Kharkiv go to Lviv and not going to Russia that's something that means something do you think you you will be able to return home at some point um, yeah I, I believe in that and I believe I could rebuild our home to to, to do it the better place that it was. And I think we now have much more support from uh, Europe, from USA, uh, and that's important. If we would be in, um, uh, in some organization, international organization, it would help to rebuild our country and do it like a better place than it was before. Thank you so much, Yolanta. It was very nice to see you again. And Thank you. Stay in touch.